now that we understand how to see the top, the front, and the right side of parts, we need to center our drawings in the Layout C title block. So when we're given a part, we have to be able to find the height, the width, and the depth of the part so we can do our centering formula and then that will lay out our views for us and give us the top, the front, and the right side in the projection box. So what we need to do is we need to figure out where the height and the width and the depth can be on the parts. So when you are looking at a part, if this is the front, then all the way across is going to be the width. Sometimes it may be up here. You may see it on this corner. You might have a dimension that comes out and can show you the width here. The overall height can be here on this part, can be in the front here. Sometimes you might have it here on the front corner. We're used to seeing the, the height and the width of parts doing our single view drawings. Now we've added depth. Okay, so now we've added depth because these are our three dimensional parts that we are creating views. So the depth can be here, can be up here, or here. Okay, so when you're given an isometric pictorial or a 3D part, and it's dimensioned, you will be able to find the height, the width, and depth in these positions. Now, if you're given the actual views of the part, and this is your top, your front, and your right side. So the top view can show me the width here and here. The front view can show me the width. The front view can show me the height. You may find it over here on this side. The right side view can show me the height. The right side view can show me the depth. You can see the depth in these positions. And the top view can show me the depth of the part. So when you're looking at your drawing sheets, pay attention to what dimensions are where and on what view to find the overall height, width, and depth. Once you find the overall height, width, and depth, you're going to do your formula. So the formula that we use for our Layout C title block is we use the height plus one inch. That is just spacing. That may increase to an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. It just depends on the part, but typically we're gonna leave it in an inch. So it's the height of the part plus one inch spacing plus the depth of the part. All of that added together. Whatever that equals, we're going to subtract seven and one eighth. This distance is the height of our drawing space in our title block. So that's where that number comes from. In our layout C, the distance from the top of the title block to the line right above our title block area with our name is seven and one eighth. So whatever that number equals, make sure you always hit equals in between so your calculator will do the right thing. Divide that by two and this is what we're going to offset up. Now, when this is laid out like this, we're going to get a negative number, but we don't care because it's a measurement and you can't negatively measure something. So the reason I've written it the way I have is all of this is together. Then I subtract it from my drawing space. I divide it by two and I get my answer. Once I get my answer and I ignore the negative, then I do the offsets in order in the formula. So what that means, 
I found my height, my spacing, and my depth. I've subtracted it from my drawing space, and I've divided it by two. So I've gotten the answer to that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset my answer. Then I offset the numbers in the formula in order. So from the line I just made, there's my answer. Then I'm going to offset up the height. Then from that line, my one inch spacing. Then from that line, my depth. Okay, so now I'm going to do the second formula, which is the width of the part plus one inch plus the depth of the part. The depth is the same in both formulas. Whatever that equals minus ten and a half. That's how wide my title block is. Whatever that equals, divide it by two, and this is my offset from the side. So once I get the answer, I offset the answer, then I offset the numbers in the formula in order. So what that means, I'm going to take the answer and offset the answer, then offset the numbers in the formula in order. Offset the width, the one inch spacing, and then the depth. So that formula has laid out the top, the front, and the right side view. And then this is your projection box. So the formula will do the work for you. Okay, so once you get to this point, you can trim objects out and you can start drawing the views. So you have to get used to finding the height, the width, and the depth of the part, plugging those numbers into the formula, and getting the answers to your offsets.